Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Tuesday's 7.9 magnitude earthquake in the Gulf of Alaska sent vibrations through the earth that caused water to rise and fall in wells in Florida thousands of miles away. Sensors near Fort Lauderdale and Madison near the Georgia border showed a minor change in water levels after the earthquake according to the USGS. Now, a water level rise from 41.59 feet to 41.77 feet was recorded at the well near Madison before it returned to normal. Now, at the well near Fort Lauderdale, the water level fell from 1.42 feet to 1.31 feet. Why did the water levels in these uh, wells some 3,800 miles away from the earthquake's epicenter change? Vibrations that move through the Earth called seismic waves, you've heard of them, are the culprit. Seismic waves are depicted by the upward and downward lines on seismographs used to detect earthquakes around the world. Now, water levels and wells respond to the seismic wave-induced expansion and contraction of the aquifer tapped by the well, in turn causing step or oscillatory fluid pressure changes, the USGS says. Now, the change in groundwater levels are often seen hundreds or even thousands of miles away from an earthquake's epicenter. Now that's fascinating, ladies and gentlemen, and it's because of uh, seismic waves uh, causing these water levels to change, even though this quake was 3,800 miles away. That's absolutely fascinating. It's shocking, as the uh, title says. Uh, something that you probably did not know, or maybe you did, but I'd never even envisioned such a thing. But uh, I will leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And there's a few links in the description area below. If you would check them out, I'd greatly appreciate it. One is to the, my most recent fiction book, my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story, available in Kindle and paperback. There's a link to a free read of chapter one of that book, which is called Fake News. That's chapter one. Check that out for free. There's a link to some music of mine, and also if you wanted to buy me a cup of coffee or something because you like, or even if you don't like the work I'm doing, there's a PayPal link down there as well. I really appreciate you, truly appreciate you folks, and most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.